Billable items include anything that can be sold in a veterinary practice. These are comprised of products, which are tangible items dispensed, services that are performed, lab tests, which will be performed in practice or by a reference lab, and finally packages, which are groupings. To manage services or labs, use the left side menu. Click on Settings, Products and Services, then Services or Labs. Both options take the user to the Product and Services Management page with different filters applied. When viewing this page, the information is presented in a table format and columns can be sorted by clicking on the column header. Search for a specific lab or service by entering the code or name within the search bar at the top of the page. Filters can also be applied by clicking on the filter icon and making selections from the filter by flyout. These options include filtering by status to show all active items, all inactive items, both or neither, item type to show all services, all labs, both or neither, other filters, which include eight additional special filter options that can be used in any combination, and finally, categories, to narrow down the list by category. Bulk editing is also available. This allows the user to make changes to any number of items at once. To open the bulk edit interface, check any of the boxes on the left side of the item list table. The top box on the header row will select all items on this page. To select all items in the list, click on the Select All option. Once selected, Edit allows the user to modify several field values for all selected items at once. Activate will activate all selected items, and Deactivate will deactivate the items. Delete will remove items from the database. This will display a confirmation message ensuring the user would like to delete all items before the deletion is performed. Finally, Cancel deselects all items and closes the bulk edit interface. The Action column, represented with an ellipsis, contains the following options that will apply to the specific row selected. This includes options to deactivate an item, open the Edit Item screen to make changes to an existing item, make a copy of an existing item with all the values of the selected item pre-filled and a copy notation added to the end of the internal name field, delete the item, and open the WHOGOT report for the selection in order to view a list of patients that have received this item in the past. Items can be created using the button above the right side of the table. This will allow the user to add either a service or lab by utilizing the drop-down arrow. The category management allows a practice to view and manage categories across all billable item types in a single unified interface. Managing categories is done by clicking on the ellipsis to the right side of the search field and selecting Manage Categories. To edit an existing category, click the Action menu next to the item you want to edit and select Edit from the menu. To create a new category, click the Plus Category button in the upper right corner of the Manage Categories page. Fields indicated with a red asterisk are required. Enter a name for the category, select if this category is for services or labs, enter an optional description of the category if desired, and finally enter an optional discount that will be applied to all items within this category when sold. Click Save when complete. In the instance that a user would like to export a list of items to an Excel sheet, once again, use the ellipsis to the right of the search field and select Download as Excel. This will begin the download of the Excel file that will include details about the items within the list.